Hello Zany friends, I am Lainey. And I am Marshall. And we have another book review for you today. We're talking about Gemina, which is the second book in the Illuminae series. We both listened to it on audiobooks, of course, because it's a little bit better of an experience when you do it that way. Do you want to tell us a little bit about what this book is about? Gemina is kind of the follow-up, kind of at the same time as Illuminae. In Illuminae, they are trying to head to a particular space station for some support to basically get rescued. This follows the story of that space station while that's all going on, as the company that tried to kill the colony is now trying to kill the space station. At the same time, a whole bunch of other weird stuff's going on. I felt like this book was very interesting, the way they told the story, and especially how the end of the second book kind of turned out. It was hard for me sometimes though because of I was listening while I was working. I feel like a lot of times I had to be like, wait, what? Hey, wait, go back. Wait, how how did that, what, what? I felt like I was doing that a lot more in this book than I was in the first book, but the characters, the new characters that they introduced were great. Especially Ella, she's like, I think everyone's favorite Ella. She is just so she's adorable. She's so cute, poor cow cow. Poor cow cow. <laughs> If you know what I'm talking about, leave a comment below. Hashtag poor cow cow. I think the the way that the other characters were introduced and brought about really had an arc. I, I really like that about it. So when I read Illuminate, Illuminate was kind of like Battlestar Galactica, but Gemini was kind of more like sci-fi diehard. Diehard meets Serenity Firefly? Uh, well, more like aliens. Um, mm. As there is these these critters that are living there, and that just makes things a little icky. Right. Uh, I, I got a very big Firefly Serenity vibe off yeah. this book, though, too, because of just, like, you know, them running, them trying to figure it out. It was... I, I just thought it was a lot more... The two main yeah. characters can definitely give you... I actually like the main characters in this book better than I liked the ones in the last I book. I did, too. Yeah. I said that this was a four-star. I can see why some people did not enjoy this much as as much as the other book, but I I, I still enjoyed it. It was still well written. I feel. I gave it four stars as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought it was I thought it was a good solid book. I really can't wait to finish Obsidio. I'm gonna start that up like right now. Yeah. Um, so that I can get through that this month and then we'll be done with the series. Yay! <laughs> Finally. Yeah. So thank you so much for watching and until next time. Stay zany. Bye bye.